So chapter 40 comes on the heels of chapter 39 where we see the fall of the city of Jerusalem. And it opens with this, this pretty dark, this pretty sad, this pretty gloomy setting with Jeremiah being there in Jerusalem with it fully decimated by the Babylonians. And look with me, if you would, at verse 2, where the captain speaks to Jeremiah. He says this, The Lord your God has brought this disaster on this land, just as he said he would. For these people have sinned against the Lord and disobeyed him. That is why it happened. You know, all throughout this book, as we've been reading through it in our Daily in the Word program, it's been very clear that God was calling his people to repentance. And if they didn't change clarity, that their lack of repentance would lead to consequence. And now, that's where we are. But in chapter 40, we see a glimmer of hope. You see, this same captain who spoke truth to Jeremiah of why they are where they are, he speaks about this character named Gedaliah. Gedaliah is this man that is appointed over Jerusalem. And Gedaliah, as you'll read, is kind of a a glimmer of hope for Jeremiah. And this reminds me of something in our lives. You know, as believers, even as unbelievers, as, as a human race, we all go through ups and downs, times where we abound and are abased. And God often will bring people into our lives to help us walk through the difficult times. You know, the Bible speaks of Jesus in this way, that he is the friend that sticks closer than a brother. So no matter where life finds you in this season, I want to encourage you that God is always with you. Even here in chapter 40 of the book of Jeremiah, with the city of God completely desolate, God gives Jeremiah a glimmer of hope in Gedaliah. And he's done the same for you. He's done the same for me. He's given us Jesus, that friend who sticks closer than a brother. So today, I encourage you, as you read the Word of God, get to know the author of the Word of God, Jesus. Spend time with him today, because he's the one who's with you through thick and thin.